because I do actually have a what do I have um, <laughs> I have a bowl oh my god I really could not think that um, and welcome to Kimmy Shines. If you're new here, I do Disney theme videos. So the last one I did, which I just filmed it, what did I do? Oh, Psychics. I was like, I literally just filmed it like 10 minutes ago and I've already forgotten what it was. But yeah, so my last one's my Psychic one. So if you've not seen it, please go check that out. And today I'm doing a haul. Now, a lot of this stuff was from charity shops and some of it was actually from Asda because if you know us, we actually do our food shopping at Asda and obviously they've got Asda George. So um, yeah, this is some of the stuff that I got. But like I said, quite a lot of this is from charity shops. But yeah, let's just get into this. So I recently went out shopping with my mum, so uh, we love to go to charity shops. It's not something I've actually had the opportunity to do much this year, so it's the first time I've actually done it. I think the last time I did it was actually before Christmas, so obviously now we're getting into February when I'm filming this, so it has been a while. So the first thing I got, which I was actually so surprised that someone actually uh, got rid of this one. So this is a Mrs. Potts teapot, but it's actually a working teapot. Now I've not actually tried it out yet, but I just thought that was just so cool to have. So even if we don't actually use it because even though we're British we do actually like uh, a lot of tea well, I just thought why would someone want to get rid of this so this was only five pounds like I said I did actually get this from um, one of the charity shops I think it was uh, Bernardo's I actually got it from and I just thought it was such good condition like for me it's quite nice obviously I'll just put it in the kitchen so obviously I will vlog about where we uh, put it and if I do use it I will vlog about that as well but I just think because it's a perfectly good working teapot I was just thinking like it's so silly to get rid of it now with things like this I have actually had stuff like for example I've got Cogsworth which actually works it was actually a working clock. Uh, I do actually have Lumiere which is actually in a stance pose where I can obviously put candles on so obviously he works. Also got loads of chip mugs which we use as well so I kind of feel like I've almost got the like complete set and I kind of feel like these are like life size as well so this is the size that they would actually be. But like I said I've not yet actually used it as a tea box so I wanted to show you guys first but I kind of feel like it would be big enough to definitely have like at least two drinks out of because that was my issue before because in Primark like years ago they actually did um, a genie's magic lamp as a teapot but you can only get one drink out of it so then I didn't really use it because obviously when I have a drink I normally have like a cup of tea with Reuben so it's kind of like it's a bit silly to only be able to get one drink out of it but I kind of feel like this one you will be able to get more out of it so the next thing I got which was awesome bananas as well so this was a pound and this was the pretty princess uh, figurines and play mat now I don't think it actually came with yeah so it doesn't actually come with the play mat which I'm not really that mad about I more wanted it for the figurines in there now I do have some other ones like this so um, I do have a Lion King version and I do have a I think I got a what one do I have? I'm trying to, I know I definitely got another one. I'm just trying to think what other characters I got. Maybe it's like a Zootropolis or Zootopia one. But it's obviously just got like um, the cardboard of the princess in there. So obviously it's got the little stories in there. And like I said, it was originally supposed to come with a play map, which obviously, like I said, I'm not mad about that I don't have. But then it's got some of the characters. Now, this one, that's the only downside is that the characters in here aren't necessarily for this particular book. Only because they're all different sizes. But I really wanted this one because it actually has some characters in there I don't often get. So first of all, I actually got Ariel's. It's actually her in her green dress. So again, it's not really an outfit. I tend to get her in a lot because I actually do have where she have kind of, oh yeah, down, down the bottom there. <laughs> um, I do actually have um, an Ariel green dress section. And I don't really have a lot to it. So that'd be good to obviously go in there. Um, as always, had to get one obviously that had Belle in there because if you know me, Belle is my favourite. So I was pleased to get that one. Uh, came with a Cinderella one as well which again not my favorite but I was kind of happy to, to get that. I uh, had Jasmine and I had her more in her dress more so or say skirt rather than her trousers so again I was happy to get that because again I don't really have a lot of her in her um, skirt. I uh, had a Mulan one as well so again I don't really have a lot of Mulan stuff especially like little figurines. I uh, got a Tangled one so um, again I got a few Tangled stuff so I was quite happy to get that. I uh, got a Merida one, so again, I don't have a lot of Merida stuff. I think the last Merida 
video I did for you guys was actually the only one I can do because I don't have any new stuff so happy to get there and the last one was this Tiana one so again I don't have a lot of Tiana stuff that I haven't spoken about because I have recently just moved my Tiana stuff up here for you guys and uh, again I think that was um, the last time I did a Princess and the Frog uh, video was probably the last one I can do because again I don't have a lot of new stuff so this originally came from Primark so it actually says in the, in the inside Primark so this is a 100 Dalmatians bag and I actually got this for three pounds so I just saw this on one of the shelves so um, I forget which shop I was in because by this point we'd gone to Winton and I forget what shop I was actually in at the time and I just thought this was really cool like I don't know if I will actually use it as a bag but I do actually have quite a few hundred Dalmatian stuff with this design on it so when I saw it I was like it looks like the Primark like bags that I've, uh, I've seen because I do actually have quite a few things like that are similar to this design and it's quite nice it's got like a little pom-pom on there but yeah so when I opened it just obviously check the inside it does actually say it in their Primark so it's quite nice it's obviously quite good um it, it comes out quite wide as well so it's quite good because I like the fact that these bits are a little bit on the wider side and the actual clasp in the middle just seem a little bit magnetic but yeah I just thought why would someone throw that like for me this is actually really good condition so it's got like a bit of glitter on there as well which is good but yeah I was just like I was really surprised someone would want to get rid of this now like I said this obviously originally came from Primark so I have found quite a lot of Primark stuff in charity shops before it's one of those things I do find stuff like this do end up in Primark like the little bags and purses and stuff which I feel like to be honest are more designed for kids because of the sizes so, so I can kind of understand things like that because you can't really fit too much in them but something like this I just think this was actually a really good condition and I was actually really surprised again why someone was throwing this out but this is I love going around charity shops because it's like it's kind of like a little game for me to see obviously what I can find so I do actually find it's kind of fun to be like oh what's in the charity shops today especially because I haven't been for a while because I always find that every time I go I always find something like you know a good bargain so a few things I got were some clothes now I've got some things similar to this. so I've got I think the pajama I'm trying to think what I've got. I know I've definitely got something in this design. Uh, again, this is from Primark. And I think it might just be like the fleecy jumper thingy that I've got. So I don't actually have this one. So um, I actually got this in a large because I thought, oh, that's good because obviously um, it's going to fit me. And this one was only £2.50. But again, I was just like, why is someone throwing this out? Like, it's such good condition. It's really nice. It's got really nice long sleeves. Like I said, it is a large. So for me, I am technically like a medium. Um, so for me, I just know this would definitely fit and it would definitely obviously um, be long enough as well because that's my sometimes my problem is obviously things aren't long enough. But even though it's a Christmas top, I was just like, this is really good condition. And I'm just like, why would someone want to get rid of this? So like, I'm always surprised when people get rid of stuff only because I'm obviously the one buying it and I can't imagine getting rid of something like this especially when it's in uh, such good condition but like I said so this one was uh, from Primark and I got this for £2.50 and then my mum actually found me this one uh, so this is a Mickey Mouse jumper so this one just says Disney it doesn't say where it's come from so I don't know like what shop it was originally from because unfortunately let me just double check the label no unfortunately it doesn't say oh no Primark I've just seen it so yeah so this is another Primark one so I got this for um, five pounds uh, and it does say it's a size 16 so obviously it's going to be too big for me but I do like big baggy jumpers and again I was just like this is really nice to obviously have just like you know around the house that kind of thing or just put like a nicer uh, like a skirt or just like put with like a nicer uh, pair of trousers that kind of thing or even just like around the house just you know like you know as loungewear but again because obviously it's a bit big I like the fact that obviously the sleeves are going to be long enough right so that is it for uh, the charity shop so the next ones I'm going to go on to is um, well I got some stuff from Asda but I do actually have one item which I believe I actually got from Aldi's I want to say um, so this one is a, a water bottle and this is a Bambi one so it's got Bambi and it's got um, stickers in there as well which if you know me I love my stickers um, I know in my last video I said that I'm trying to get on to like more of these kind of water bottles just because I have noticed when I've had ones like this the actual straw itself unfortunately it gets so difficult to clean that it's unhy unhygienic to, uh, to uh, drink but I just couldn't resist because again I don't really have a lot of Bambi stuff so that's why I got this one 
one and the fact it came with stickers as well like I said I love my stickers so I couldn't resist because um, yeah I'm trying to get more Bambi and Thumper stuff because again I think the last video I did of Bambi and Thumper was probably the last one I can do because I don't have enough stuff to add to it so yeah, so I think this one was about $3.99, which is kind of average price I would find for stuff like this. Um, I have seen stuff like this in Asda as well. I used to always get mine from Primark, but like I said, I haven't been to Primark uh, in about three months. So uh, yes, yeah, so I'm glad that other places do these as well. But yeah, so that was the one from Aldi, whereas all the other stuff is from um, Asda. So one of the things I actually found in Asda, which they did actually have quite a lot of these, so I actually bought two of these. I wouldn't normally have these, but because it's got the villains on it, I couldn't resist, and it was only 88 pence. I'm not sure how much it was originally, but I have a feeling something like this would have been roughly about maybe like five pounds. But I didn't actually get this one when it first came out, so a lot of stuff they had around uh, Halloween was obviously villain based, so I did actually get quite a lot of stuff then, but I didn't get these. And this was the only thing in my Asda that was reduced. Now, I don't normally have these, because I don't say make smoothies I don't have drinks that require these because I think with this you can only have cold drinks in yeah so it says cold drinks only and I'm just trying to think well to be honest when it comes to cold drinks all I drink is water like I don't really drink anything else because again with a straw I wasn't too sure about it so I actually got two so one for the shrine and one to use because I wasn't sure if this would eventually tarnish but yeah the fact that obviously it's got um, Corella, Maleficent, Ursula, um, the Queen from Snow White and it's also got Scar on there which to be honest Scar you don't get a lot of that's one reason I wanted to get this one because I do actually have a what do I have um, <laughs> I have a bowl, oh my god, I really could not think then, a cereal bowl that's actually got um, these characters on there and I purposely got it because of Scar. So yeah, so I'm not sure if I will actually use this, so for me it's one of the things that I'm like, okay, like I got two, so one would definitely go in the shrine and then one I can use, but I wasn't sure if I was actually going to use it, but I was thinking like 88p, I couldn't really resist. So another thing that I actually got last year, but they do also do bedding all over the time. So this one is a duvet set and this has got two pillowcases in there. And this is a Nala and Simba one. Now um, I've had this <laughs> up here since before Christmas. Now I did actually, I think when I did my last uh, as the haul before Christmas, I think I might have included it then, but I was actually saving this one to actually use until now because obviously I wanted it more like a spring kind of uh, duvet. So, like I said, so this one's a Null and Simba. So, on one side, you do actually have Null and Simba on there, and on the other side, it's just this really nice pattern as well. So, you can obviously um, have it reversed. I believe things like that are normally about, say, 10, 10, 12 pounds. I'm trying to remember how much this one was, but like I said, I did actually get it from Asda, but they've got so many new stuff out at the moment um which spoiler for my next video uh reuben kindly actually did an order for me from asda uh, because we went into the store and they didn't actually have them some of the things so obviously we went on the website and they had loads of say little mermaid stuff so um reuben kindly actually bought me that so that's gonna be my next video so that's gonna be a pure asda video but like i said i just wanted to show this one because like i said i've had this one since before christmas so this one it should hopefully um when we next change our bed that should be on there so another thing Ruben found, which I said I'm actually going to give back to him to give me for my birthday because I don't want to open them at the moment. So I, as you know, I love my stickers. So Ruben actually found me these ones here. So obviously these are supposed to go in a sticker album. Now he said I can open them. I might open them and then obviously keep the packaging really nice because obviously he purposely got me these ones because obviously I had different princess on there. So you've got a Pocahontas one, you've got a Mulan one, you've got Merida, got a Jasmine one, got a Snow White, uh, got Rapunzel, uh, got Aurora and you got Belle. So he went through, like literally spent like five minutes as rifling through all of these to obviously uh, find the princesses for me. But I just say to him that, okay, like, some of the stuff that he's been buying me recently, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give back to you. So once I've obviously filmed it, talked about it, I'm gonna give back to you so you can obviously give it back to me for my birthday. Cause my birthday's not until May. So I'm hoping by then I will forget some of the stuff that he has gotten me because obviously like, I've already talked about it. But I just thought something like that, like I may open them uh, and then obviously see what stickers are in them. But I didn't see the actual sticker album, but like again, like with me, I just love my stickers. So the next thing they had, they actually had a whole range of Alice in Wonderland stuff. Now, I'm not a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, 
but I couldn't resist. They did actually have stuff that would actually be helpful to actually have around the house. So one of the things I had was a whisk. Now, we did actually need this, so um, no word of a lie, the night before we went shopping, we did actually break the one we had. So when we went to Asda, we knew we were going to get one of these anyway. And I said to Ruben, I was like, is it okay if I can get the Asda Wonderland one? Like for me, I'm not a huge fan, but I do really like the pattern on there. So like I said, they had a whole range of it, but they had stuff that I knew I wouldn't use. So they also had stitched stuff as well but they had other stuff like this which we didn't need so i was thinking well, we're not going to buy it just because it's got you know disney on there i because the only reason i bought this is because we actually generally need a whisk because uh, if you know us we have a lot of pancakes well, obviously we have a lot of batter stuff as well and obviously making brand in a mug it's easier to use uh, a whisk um I think the other stuff they had were like uh, Pyrex dishes and I was like again don't need them because we've got loads already so and I feel like because it only has like a picture on it eventually that will tarnish uh, they had other stuff like scales um, they had the what's the thing like, like, like the jug with the, the measuring jug so yeah again stuff that we don't need so it would be cool if obviously you're starting out and you want to buy disney stuff so it's kind of cool but i didn't want to buy it because we didn't need it so i was like okay this is again just taking up space so it's one of the things that i bought that one because i really needed it though saying that this one was only five pounds so i can justify the fact it was only five pounds so this is a worktop saver and again as some wonderland and i just can't resist like this was just too like it was just so so pretty and like the fact it's got all the characters on there i just thought that was really cute like again i'm not a huge as wonderland fan but i couldn't resist getting this because i just really liked uh, the picture on there so this also would be good on our work tops obviously when we're uh, like cooking things like that it'd be good obviously to, to have on there um but yeah like i said it was just i couldn't resist because i just thought it was very pretty and it was only five pounds and i thought okay that wasn't too bad like when i first saw this i was easily expecting this to be 10 pounds and i was like okay no i can't justify 10 pounds especially if it's something that i don't necessarily need like this will obviously will come in handy but we don't need it but no it was only five pounds that's why i thought i'd get it but like i said they got other stuff as well like they had oven gloves again we didn't need they got tea towels again didn't need so yeah so that's why i thought this one because it will definitely come in handy so they have actually started doing uh valentine's day stuff now me and ruben don't celebrate valentine's like i don't need one day to know that i'm loved but I saw this and I was like, I really want it. So they've got a lot of Jack and Sally stuff. So uh, unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of stuff in the store. But when we looked on the website, they did. So, um, But I know they had a throw, which I'm, I'm trying to get hold of. Um, again, I don't need another throw. But um, I know Ruben ordered me a, uh, another one for a different character. So that's why I was like, okay, I didn't really mind. But I saw this one. And it's obviously got Jack and Sally. And it just says, love you to death on there. And for me, this is like a perfect size mug. Again, I don't do Valentine's but I just thought it was so pretty to have. It was so cool. And the fact that it was actually Jack and Sally, like I was actually quite happy that they were actually starting to do more Nightmare for Christmas characters because I just feel like, which I have said in previous videos, that I don't have enough. Again, I think my last video I did was my last one I can actually do for you guys. So it's actually nice to obviously include um, this and obviously a Valentine's rather than obviously associate with Halloween. But yeah, like I said, it was just the fact that it's a nice size mug. It's nice and pretty. Like, you know, I can't really complain about the, the size of it and obviously the fact that it's uh, all pink. Uh, this was only four pounds which i thought was obviously a good price for the size of it as well but yeah like i said we don't celebrate valentine's but i just saw this and i was like i really want it and another thing so this is the the last thing we just double check yeah so this was the last thing again we didn't celebrate it but i just saw this and uh <laughs> i couldn't resist because this was um which when we had our wedding anniversary because we went to italy ruben did actually get me a lady and tramp uh wedding card because obviously a lady and tramp on that and because we're going to italy it kind of made sense and then i saw this and i was like oh i really want this as well i was like i know we don't celebrate valentine's but again i really want this because <laughs> it actually pulls out to then create a scene and i was like this is just super cute so and the fact that obviously it's got the little spaghetti there as well um this was uh three pounds but i just thought this was super cute obviously then to add to the other one um but like i said i kind of feel bad because i was like obviously saying to ruben oh we don't celebrate valentine's and there's me wanting valentine's day stuff but like i said yes yeah, so i might give this back to ruben to then give to me for valentine's even though we don't celebrate it but i was just like that i'm, I'm a sucker for stuff like that i just can't resist so yes, yeah, so that was it for my Asda slash uh, charity shop haul. So if you like this kind of video, then please give me a big thumbs up. Like I said, my next one is actually going to be a pure Asda haul. Like I said, because from going to Asda to do our shopping, 
like I said, we went on the website and Ruben kindly ordered me some more stuff, so that'll be in my next video. Um, anything that you guys want to see from the shrine, let me know, because I would like to obviously go back round and actually do stuff from the shrine. Rather than obviously I think being halls all the time, I would actually like to go back round. So like I said, so one of the ones I did recently was like um, my psychics one, I've done like a princess one as well, so I've done a few different uh, characters. But like I said, if there's anything particular that you want to see, let me know down below. I know some of you guys have already requested some stuff, so um, they are on my list, I haven't forgotten, so I will do them eventually. But I just wanted like more ideas from you guys because I want to do videos that you guys actually want to see. But yeah, if you like this kind of videos, then please give me a big thumbs up. Please like subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time. Later days.